everyone, welcome to another Color Wednesday. In this video, I'm going to cover uh, buying or purchasing digital images and also printing them out, sizing, sizing them on your computer and then printing them out. Um, have, I've had a few questions about this, so I thought I would do a quick video just showing you an example of how you can do that. So here I am at the Greeting Farbs web website. I love their images for coloring and practicing hair and skin tones. So I'm going to be purchasing one image today. And this is the image that I've selected, Dressy Joyce. I think she's super cute. So I already have her in my cart. So I'm going to go to my cart and I'll just proceed to check out. Okay, so I skipped over all of the purchasing part so that you're not seeing my address and payment info and all that. But my order has been placed. So you can go straight to my downloadable products and download the files. Uh, these are all the ones that I bought from them. It looks like I hadn't really bought anything since last December, but um, they just have these download here links. So I'll just hit download here, and it gives me the option to save it somewhere on my computer. Okay, now I'm in Microsoft Word. Uh, normally when I work with these digital images, I would work in Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop, but I really wanted to show you guys that you don't have to have a special program to open these files and print them. And most people these days have Microsoft Word or some other type of word processing software. So that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to make it so I can see the whole page. I'm going to click on the insert picture over here and I'll select from file. And I selected the file and it placed it in there. It will put it in at the exact size that it's supposed to be. Um, you can make it slightly larger, although I really wouldn't recommend it because the, when you size an image larger than it's supposed to be, it, or larger than it opens, it becomes pixelated. So I believe if you print it at this size right here, that is the exact size of the equivalent actual rubber stamp. So you know you're going to have... Um, it's the exact size that the illustration was made to begin with. So I would highly recommend you don't make it any bigger, but you can definitely make it smaller. And you can um, size it down however small you'd like. You can even copy and paste it a few times so that you have a few different images to practice coloring. And that's it. From here, I would just go ahead and go to my print dialog and print my images. So um, just to clarify some of the questions about my printer, I have an Epson Artisan 710 and it's kind of an older printer. It came out a few years ago. They have newer ones now, but the type of ink that I use is Epson Claria ink. I like to print my images on Copic Expressit blending card. So. That is how I purchase, download, and size images, or how you can. And I hope they help some of you guys out. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Here we are at the very end of the video. I have three more videos for you guys to watch. And all three of these are images that I purchased online and printed out. They are digital images. And so I thought you guys want, might want to check that out after just seeing how to purchase and download and print your images. So, as usual, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, you can hit the subscribe button and you will receive an update when I post new videos. And you can visit me at my blog at kwarnerdesign.com. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. And thanks so much for watching. I will catch you guys next time.